Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Facebook Fix 960 action set. This set is free on our Facebook page and website. Please look for it there. What you're going to do is go to the Facebook Fix action set once you've loaded it into Photoshop. Then you're gonna look through the set. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. Instructions, you're welcome to play those by using the play button. It'll pop up some instructions. The next thing you're going to do is the step-by-step. -step. You've got step one, step two, and step three. Step one is pick your resize. You can do one image or you can do a two by two and before and after options as well. So you're gonna pick that. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and sharpen your image. And lastly, you can apply a copyright watermark if you would like, that is optional, of course. We're going to go ahead and start with the one image. To work on the one image, you need to actually pull up a photo and then you're going to click on the play button and it will actually resize your image to 960 on the longest side. So it depends if it's a vertical or horizontal. Then it will pop up a message and say, press continue to browse for your logo or press stop if no logo is preferred. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop. I'm not going to put my logo on this particular picture. If you click continue, it would allow you to actually insert your watermark on the photo, which I will show you later. Next, I would go ahead and use the Facebook sharpening. You'll see there is a message with instructions, but basically you're going to pick one of three sharpening levels. By default, it's set to the Facebook sharpening standard. If you would like to change this, turn the eyeball off by clicking and select a different sharpening, either light, standard, or strong. Once you've picked your sharpening, while you're on that la layer, you can also go ahead and change the opacity if desired to add more or less strength of that particular sharpening method. Once you're done sharpening, it will go ahead and flatten your photo if you choose to copyright it. We can either do a symbol only, which will put a big C in a circle, or we can have it say do not copy, or this image is copyrighted. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the do not copy. You'll see it places it right in the middle of your screen. You are welcome to use the move tool and move it wherever you wish. You may also change the opacity. After you're done using one image, you can try a double by using the two image side by side, the before and after side by side, or one of the top and bottoms. Using vertical pictures, you'll want to use the side by side. I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after. I'm gonna run this action and it is gonna give you pop-up instructions, but I'm gonna show you here. You'll start by picking your straight out of camera and moving that where it belongs, and then either clicking your check mark at the top or return or enter. Then you'll click continue and you'll move to the after image and pop that in. If you do need to resize the image, you'll go ahead and drag one of the four corners right here, 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 or here and you'll hold your shift key down at the same time so the photo does not distort. Again, you can click your return or enter key to accept the change and there will be a pop-up message telling you to use the sharpening action next. If you would like to actually put a logo in, you can go ahead and do that at this time. If not, you'll go ahead and click cancel or stop. Next thing you can do is adjust the opacity. So we can go ahead and either use the black or white before and after, and then adjust the opacity if you want it slightly less noticeable. From there, you're gonna go ahead and use the sharpening. We're going to go ahead and click play, and it will sharpen the images, and then we can click stop. You're welcome to adjust the sharpening as I showed you earlier with the one image by changing the opacity or changing the level of sharpening. If you would like to then put a copyright symbol on or the do not copy or this image is copyrighted, you would just click play and it will put that on your photo for you. I'm gonna show you one more now. Let's go ahead and do a two image top and bottom, but this time without the before and after typed on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and we're gonna start by popping in an image and moving it in place. Then I click the check mark or return or enter. And again, I'm going to put the second image, and this is called a diptych, where you show two different images to display them on your website or on Facebook. And again, if I press continue, it will put the logo on. 
So we're going to go ahead and navigate our way to the logo. This is from Crave Photography. I'm going to go ahead and it'll pop it right in the middle to start. And I'm going to now resize this logo because it's definitely too large. I'm going to hold my shift key and drag one of the four corners in while holding it down the entire time. And then I let go and drag it into the place where I want it and either click the check mark or return or enter. And then if I would like to do some sharpening, I can click the sharpening tool, adjust the opacity to taste or pick a different sharpening. And if I wanted a copyright symbol, I would choose that, but on this one, I'm not going to do that. That's all there is to using this set. I hope you enjoyed learning about it and you can download it again at mcpactions.com or temporarily on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.